Today we're making commercial migratory pallets uh, based on a plan that we found online. There's been a lot of questions I've seen, especially on the forums, about how the pallets are made uh, to maximize their ability to load on a truck. Um, this is a plan we've seen, and we've also seen our friend uh, Jerry from Rock, uh, uh, Rock Hill Bee Farms um, make these pallets, and so we're going to videotape this. There's actually going to be uh, a link to our blog that shows all the appropriate measurements and the materials list, uh, and this is the accompanying video. Um, in case you thought you were mistaken, no, this is in fact my living room. We've had some uh, snow and inclement weather here in D.C. over the last couple of weeks, and so this is the most appropriate place to do it, especially since my wife is uh, out of the house for the next hour or so. Just to uh, make sure you see some of these measurements, we have three 2x4s. Those are uh, pressure treated, and they are 47 inches long. Those will be the bearer boards of the pallet. And as far as the bottom decking or the stringers, we, we're using 5 quarter pressure treated wood, uh, 5 quarter by 6, and these are 33 inches long. We start by beginning on the underside and we take the two bottom deck pieces and have them straddle the two end edge bearer boards and we're screwing these in with two inch deck screws um, that are um, obviously um, corrosive resistant. You'll notice I'm only putting in one screw in each board and uh, that will allow the uh, project to rack a little bit and uh, because we we're not going to make it square here we're going to make it square when we add the um, plywood uh, decking which we know is uh, is will be square based on the uh, the factory edges and the factory um, cuts so we'll we'll leave these with just one screw in for right now and then we'll um, we'll finish adding the, the plywood decking and then we'll come back and add a second or third screw here on the, on the underside. Uh, right now we're going to add the middle bearer board. And what I've done is I've marked the center at 16 and a half inches of this board here and the alternate board here and we'll just run the uh, center bearer board right down the middle and uh, tack that in with one screw as well. All right, we're done with that. Uh, adding the second, or pardon me, the middle bearer board, the two by four, and now it's time to address the decking. Turn the board, turn the pallet over, and address the decking. We finished with the bottom of the of the um, pallet, and we've turned it over to attach the plywood decking. Uh, again, the measurements of all this will be on the blog that we'll put in the uh, description section of the video. But um, here are the dimensions of the plywood sheathing. This is about three quarter inch plywood. Um, unsanded, it's a little cheaper. And um, it's 33 by 21 inches. And you can see where I've marked this, the square in the corner. That's uh, a factory, um, a factory uh, performed corner. So uh, we know that's square and we'll use that dimension to square up the entire um, uh, uh, um, pallet. Uh, at Home Depot we actually had them rip down these panels to 21 inches wide uh, for a long sheet and then we just uh, cut them into 33 inch uh, widths. So that's a little bit of a time saver. Here is what the upper deck topside deck looks like after it's been screwed in. Again we use uh, 2 inch deck screws to screw these in. Um, you may ask why there is a space between the decking um, and why we didn't use one continuous piece of plywood uh, to avoid that space. Um, that space is there uh, to avoid any kind of trash, leaves, grass clippings, or anything else that might uh, settle in around the pallet after it's been placed. Um, it allows it to just fall out or be easily cleaned out. I've been told by folks who take their almonds to... Um, uh, to California, that the folks at the border are very, very um, uh, concerned about any kind of foreign debris coming in, and that the easier it is to clean the pallets, uh, the better off you are. On top of the decking, we've added some lumber 
uh, mostly one by twos with a one by three down the middle to act as furring or risers for the uh, hive bodies to sit upon. This bottom board will be, or pardon me, this uh, deck will also act as a bottom board. And so we will just be placing the boxes on top of this, uh, this uh, framing that sits on top of the decking. And that will provide the appropriate amount of space for the bees to come in and out. Um, we're using 1x2s and 1x3s that we bought at the lumber yard. Um, if you had a table saw, you could easily use the scraps from the plywood to make your own risers, uh, which would be a heck of a lot cheaper since they are just scraps. Uh, but we don't have a table saw, and this was the easier way to do it. But that would save you time and also allow you to um, cut the risers to the proper width. For instance, uh, most folks on the edges don't want a 1x2, they want a 3 quarter inch um, riser so that the bottom board sits directly on top of that and there's plenty of space underneath. Um, this won't be too much of a hassle for the bees, uh, but it is one difference we see from um, this pallet design and folks who've got slightly more experience and better um, wood craft skills. Oh, by the way, uh, we used um, 2 inch drywall screws, I'm sorry, 1.5 inch drywall screws uh, to screw these um, these furring strips into the decking. Here's our pallet with our W clips installed and all of our furring slash riser pieces around the perimeter. Um, we did attach the W clips with our two inch drywall screws. The box sits on those riser strips and is held in place by the W clips. You can see we space the W clips so that they're at the very edges of the inside of the box with those angle cuts facing both forward and backward making it easier to just pop the boxes on. The second box goes adjacent to the first one with a half inch space down the middle. You can see that the front of the box is offset from the front of the um, front of the pallet by about three quarters of an inch. That allows a little more landing area for the bees and it also uh, protects the fronts from a lot of abuse from the lifting forks in the rear. The backs of the boxes are essentially flush with the back of the decking. So this is essentially how a pallet works with a with the W clip system. We don't have any clips on this side. We'll do those later. But I just wanted to show you how we make our commercial pallets, commercial migratory pallets.